All right, hello there, thrill seekers. That was a little snippet of the song Servo by Brian Jones Town Massacre, and you'll get the whole song at the end of the video. And yesterday was the ghoul's birthday. Uh, I did a video a couple years about uh, years ago about the ghoul. He was my favorite horror movie host from the 70s in Cleveland. And yesterday was his birthday, and I forgot to mention that. So, thought I'd wear his t-shirt today, the ghoul. So anyway, I got a comment on yesterday's video that I'm going to read to you, and I, I, I don't think you need to have watched yesterday's video in order for this to make sense, but if you want to go back and watch yesterday's video, maybe it'll make a little bit more sense, but I'm going to try to catch you up even if you haven't watched yesterday's video. So let's, let's start off by reading the comment, and here is the comment. This is a bit confusing. Brad, because the quote from the Nirvana Sutra doesn't say at all what Zipporin claims it says. And I'm talking about, uh, he's talking about the quote I read from Emptiness and Omnipresence, an Essential Introduction to Tian Tai Buddhism by Brook A. Zipporin, or Zipporin, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. To occasionally refer to self as part of upaya, skillful means, is nothing like saying that everything is self and non-self at once. That's a universalizing statement, and the quote from the sutra is basically saying that there are no universalizing statements. Also, you say that practice helps you understand this identity of self and non-self. I don't think that's true in my case, and fine, maybe I haven't practiced enough, but before I had a steady practice, practice, I was very enthusiastic about this philosophy, and I thought I got it, intellectually at least, uh, from sitting. Well, it feels more like self and non-self are just words, and their identity or not is a non-issue. All there is is the moment of sitting or walking my dog or whatever, the sound of the refrigerator cutting off and then restarting my aching knee, whatever. What does some metaphysical notion of self or non-self have to do with that? It's too capacious, too general to say anything about this moment or this place. It's just words. And my answer that I gave, I'll just read to you. I'm not sure it's a great answer, but uh, here's my answer. Uh, that I gave in the comments. Uh, I don't know, I feel like it does say what Zipporin says it says, but maybe that's because I've read more of the book than just the two and a half pages I read aloud on the video. Maybe more context is required, question mark. But when you come right down to it, it really is all just words. That's the bottom line. I feel like a lot of what Dogen is trying to say when he gets really convoluted and starts, for example, taking a sentence apart and rearranging the words in different orders, is it's all just words. Words are always just words. They can never be any more than that. Some of them act as useful pointers and some don't. And they're never universal. That is to say, one set of words might be a very good pointer for 88 out of 100 people, but for the other 12 out of those 100, those words don't work at all. Which doesn't negate the value of those words entirely, but it also means when one of those 12 people says those words are totally meaningless, they are correct. They're correct as far as it goes for those people, for the people who say that those words are meaningless. Yeah, they're meaningless for them. And, and I've been thinking about this a lot, and I don't know if I can articulate this well yet. This is something I've been kind of percolating in my brain, and something I may put in a future book if I ever write a future book. I'm working on another book, but it's, it's coming difficultly. Difficultly? Anyway, is just that there are different there are different ways of approaching this stuff, this, this spiritual stuff for different people. And you can say broadly that there are, there are, Ziggy, what are you barking at? He's standing at the wall, just barking at the wall. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, there, there are right ways and there are wrong ways. There, there are broadly bad ways of doing it, and there are broadly good ways of doing it. But among the good ways of doing it, there are ways that are good for certain people in ways that are, are, are good for other people. And, and there are ways that might work for you, and there are ways that don't work. That, that, okay. 
I'm getting ahead of myself, and this is why I'm saying it's hard to articulate this. Okay, sometimes when I think about my own trajectory and the teachers I've listened to, I think about Nishijima Roshi, and I think about Tim, my first teacher, and I think, God, I can never teach like them. You know, it's just, what, what comes out of my mouth is just blah, and punk rock, and uh, monster movies, and all this garbage. And I remember Nishijima Roshi once telling me something like, the reason I gave you Dharma transmission, he's saying this to me, is because you understand me completely. And I'm going, I understand you completely? Because when it comes out of my mouth, it doesn't sound anything like what it sounds when it comes out of you. And you can go on YouTube. I have put some up and a lot of other people have put videos up of Nishijima Roshi talking. And if you if you watch those videos, Ziggy, can I talk for a little bit? If you watch those videos, you will see that Nishijima Roshi doesn't sound anything like me. I don't sound anything like Nishijima Roshi. But Nishijima Roshi felt like I was able to convey essentially the same sort of teaching that he was trying to convey. Of course, I'm conveying it in, in a different way. Somebody who might have gotten something from... The, the people who are going to get it from me, they're going to get it from me, and, and a lot of the people who would be able to get it from me, if they would have encountered Nishijima Roshi, they wouldn't have gotten anything from him. And, and for me, it's the same. There's a lot of people, like Tim, a lot of people listened to Tim, my first Zen teacher, and were like, bleh, I don't like this guy, and walked right away from him and didn't get anything from him. A lot of people encountered Nishijima Roshi and were like, bleh, what's this dude all about? Go away. So, there, but I knew it was good in both cases. So, there's, there's stuff that works for some people and stuff that doesn't work for other people and that's why there needs to be a kind of a wide variety and this is why I don't sort of repudiate anything I was gonna say anything there there's some stuff that's just awful <laughs> that's out there and it's just bad but I don't I don't I, I'm less likely to put something down like okay I moved uh, recently to, okay, people like to characterize California, the state that I live in, by what they hear about Los Angeles and San Francisco. Now, recently I moved, my, my only experience of living in California was living in Los Angeles, which I did for, God, 10 or more years, I don't know how many years I lived in Los Angeles, a long time, at least 10 years, 15 years, anyway. Then I moved to this rural California town, 40 miles outside of Los Angeles. And what happens when you get a substantial distance outside of LA or San Francisco is California is nothing like Los Angeles or, or San Francisco, the rest of California. So right down the street from me, like two doors down, is a... Um, Assembly of God Church, and what I've seen around here is it's very uh, conservative around here, and the religious nature of this area is not the sort of New Age, Zen, Hare Krishna, you know, uh, brown rice and waterbed stuff that you were getting in L.A., completely different. You know, this this is like uh, living in Knoxville, Tennessee. My sister used to live in Knoxville, Tennessee. This might have been, this might as well be, <laughs> hi Ziggy, this might as well be Knoxville, California, you know, around here. And for the people for whom the Assembly of God kind of spirituality works, I can't put it down. Maybe it's, maybe it's really good for them. You know, maybe fundamentalist Muslim teachings are really good for, for some people, and obviously not for the people who committed the terrorism on September 11th. That wasn't good. That was bad spiritual teachings. But maybe there's something in other sort of fundamentalist Muslim teachings that's really, really good for some people, that really, really works, and really, you know, it, it works for them. That's a different kind of fundamentalist Muslim teachings, you know, not, not of the variety that gets you to knock down buildings with airplanes. So, you know, it's a whole different thing. There's a whole spectrum of stuff out there. 
Now, the other point that I wanted to get into is about what the uh, commenter said about things being just words. Because in the end, everything is just words, and words are just pointers. And one of the things I, I found in the Nisargadatta Maharaj tradition after Nisargadatta Maharaj died is that those guys started to use that 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 word pointers. So one of the first books that came out from Ramesh Balsakar, one of uh, Nisargadatta Maharaj's students, was Pointers from Nisargadatta Maharaj. And uh, there's been a few books in that tradition called Pointers, blah, 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 Pointers. So the words are just... I think he's doing something weird. He's like underneath my chair now. Anyway, pointers. So the words are just pointers. And one of the things Dogen does that he does in the essay Komyo, which I'm doing a podcast about right now. So there's a little plug for my podcast about Komyo. But he does it all over the place in Shobogenzo. But in Komyo he does it. So that's a good, uh, a good example that I can pick up because it's, uh, it's right there in front of me. Uh, he does this thing where he'll take a sentence. Usually it's a four four Chinese characters. In the case of the one he does in Komyo, it's just three Chinese characters. And he takes the characters and just rearranges them in every possible order. So uh, he does this in Komyo. And the way I translated it is this. There are Buddhas who have light. There are Buddhas without light. There is light without Buddhas. There is light that has Buddhas. And I'm going to put these up on the screen because I know there's a few people who watch these uh, videos who understand the Chinese characters. They are U Ko Butsu Ari, Mu Ko Butsu Ari, Mu Butsu Ko Ari, U Butsu Ko Ari. So it is the the three characters are have light and buddha so the character for have i'll put it on the and the character for light and the character for buddha and he just arranges them in in four different possible orders and nishijima and cross translate that as uh, there are Buddhas who have light, there are luminant Buddhas who are without, there is light of Buddha in being without, and there is light of Buddha which is existence. Tanahashi et al. translate that as Buddha of being light, Buddha of no light, no Buddha light, and being Buddha light, which is probably as close as you can get to a sort of a direct translation of just, you know, raw characters. And Hubert Nierman's version goes, there are Buddhas who have luminosity, and there are Buddhas who do not have luminosity. There is a luminosity without Buddha, and there is a luminosity with Buddha. Oh, somebody's watering the trees over next door. Oh, it's getting on Ziggy and everybody. Okay, <laughs> I may have to shut this down. But anyway, the, the thing about this is when he does this sort of language warping stuff of just kind of juggling the characters around, he's, he's doing a number of things with that. But one of the things I think he's doing is trying to kind of demonstrate to his readers that words are just words and that you can kind of scramble them up and make different meanings out of them but he's trying to kind of loosen the grip on the kind of holiness and, and sanctity. Sanctity? I don't know. The, the kind of holiness that these phrases might have. Because some of the phrases he does this to are phrases that are very kind of special uh, to, to Buddhists and kind of been held up as kind of holy phrases. So uh, when he takes them apart and does this to them, he's kind of saying, hey, look, look what you can do with this holy phrase. You can scramble it up and make it into new phrases that have different meanings and, and shed new kind of um, light on on the meaning of, of the thing. <laughs> Sorry, there's all kinds of watering going on over here. And, but in the end, words are just words. And as the, the person who made the comment says, sometimes the... the 
I think the commenter here is right. It kind of doesn't matter. And this is sort of gets to part of my frustration with uh, Professor Zipporin's book, which it's taken me forever. I've gotten about halfway through the book, and I've been talking about it. If you've been watching these videos, I've been talking, I've been talking about this book for like a month or something like that. And one of the reasons it's taking me so long to get through this book is that there are parts of it which, which are brilliant and which to me are really easy to read. And then there are parts of it where it just gets bogged down, at least to me, in sort of philosophical, like blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, Professor Zipporin, because I think he's written a really good book, and I, I do recommend the book as being one of the good ones out there on Buddhist philosophy. But some of it gets into this stuff where where I just don't know what the hell it, it, this is all for. Like, I'm going, uh, you know, this, this means nothing to me. So, you know, the po you take the pointers where you can get them, and sometimes you get good ones and sometimes you don't. For my money, a book like uh, Each Moment is the Universe by Dining Katagiri, it's just uh, taken from his, uh, his talks, or I Am That by Nisargadatta Maharaj, or uh, Buddha is the Center of Gravity, uh, Joshu Sasaki, or um, uh, Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind, uh, Shunryu Suzuki. Those things, those books are just you know, start to finish, great, and 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 pointers all the way through. Uh, something like this is just like some great stuff that that really helps, and then some stuff where I'm just going, oh. And I don't know what my books are like for people. Maybe they're they're the same combo, but you know, it's all just it's all just pointers. Words are just words. I think that's that's the end. I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but anyway, that's that's my thoughts on that comment, and I hope some of it was was useful to you anyway if you want to support me doing more useful talks like this or maybe useless talks like this you can go to the url that you're seeing on your screen below which is hardcorezen.info slash donate that is hardcorezen.info slash donate uh, there you will find links to my paypal and patreon accounts those are my main and usually only ways of making a living and uh but as always this is offered for free so you don't got to donate if you don't want to donate so we will see you next time have a good time all the time i will give you you've you've actually got cameos from ziggy but i'll give you another little cameo of ziggy and then the rest of the song servo which is one of my favorite songs by the brian jones sound massacre who are one of my favorite bands and i don't know why they never made a single or a video or anything out of this song but I think it's one of their best. So I always wanted to form a band that could cover this song, but next best thing is I make a video that covers this song. So I'm going to let you see the rest of it, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good time all the time. I think I said that. See you later. Bye. Hey, Ziggy, are you hiding under the table from the water? You don't get away from the people watering the trees over there? All right. We'll go back inside. The water can't get us there. Let's go inside and edit it. Thank you.